and then it will be transferred into the required region where we need to transfer them. Now this is a third and this is another very important stage it's actually two unique uh, setup where we've seen that uh, the process of uh, transport, the process of protein trafficking occurs uh, two unique ways for two, two very special purposes. One purpose is to deliver immunoglobulins from uh, the intestinal fluid, from the blood and intestinal fluid into the intestinal lumen actually. So, uh, so immunoglobulins are very important because you know in different infections actually cells need to uh, cells need to look for uh, whether there is an infection or not and if there is an infection then they need to supply a lot of immunoglobulins as well as they need to uh, make sure that whatever is inside our intestinal lumen intestinal lining of the cells they are correct they are right because a lot of things are going on in intestine there so actually this process called transcytosis and we will be seeing this machinery as well as we are going to see that uh, this transport system or membrane transport system is actually helping not to deliver proteins but also to deliver uh, some uh, element like this element is iron in this case right and using a protein receptor protein helper called transferrin right so it's called ferrotransferrin a protein molecule called transferrin and there's iron attached to that transferrin converting it into the ferrotransferrin molecule now the ferrotransferrin molecule that is protein along with iron residues will come and attach with the ferrotransferrin receptor or transferrin receptor rather present onto the surface of uh, the cell onto the surface of, which is the membrane onto the cell now once they're bound with this this ferrotransferrin bound with the transferrin receptor they will be internalized via endocytosis pathway and clathrin will help them to coat this whole vesicle that's the clathrin coated receptor mediated endocytosis pathway so once this process is done uh, then after after this process after the internalization is done the clathrin molecules will be recycled and rest of the uh, rest of the section that's the endosome will be there early endosome will be converted into late endosome and once it is converted into late endosome the ph suddenly drops and all of those uh, those transferrin receptors are now free and they will be recycled and then uh, what we know finally once it is ready it will fuse with the late endosome and as the ph drops a much like ph less than 5 or 5 in that condition those ferrotransferrin molecules ferrotransferrin uh, proteins will become apotransferrin and all of these irons are just coming out of those proteins because they are the construction of um, protein and iron present in between the protein structure protein cleft so each of those proteins are containing two irons so here you can see irons are coming out and those ferrotransferrin are now converted into apotransferrin molecules and then the irons are taken out of this late endosome into the cytosol and that's how a cell can get uh, iron uh, it can take iron through a protein molecule but not via channel transport actually it's via a receptor mediated endocytosis pathway slightly unique but it is present